Welcome back to Math Mini Lessons. In this video, you'll learn the difference between simple and compound interest. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the lesson, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more math videos like this every week. Time for a riddle. Would you rather get $100 a day every day for a month, or double a penny every day for one month? Which would you choose? In the last video, you learn interest is the cost of borrowing money, and you can calculate simple interest using PRT, the amount you borrow, the principal, times the interest rate, times how long it takes to pay back the loan. But there's another kind of interest a person can pay, compound interest. So how is compound interest different from simple interest? To understand the power of compounding, let's go back to the riddle. The first choice is to get $100 a day, and the amount doesn't change, so I know I'm going to have $3,000 at the end of 30 days. The second choice involves doubling, and it's harder to figure out about pen and paper. I start with a penny, and the next day it doubles to two cents, and the next day to four cents, and then eight cents. To get to 30 days, we have to keep doubling, and to get the total, I have to add every number from the day before. I need my notebook for this. So the first six days are pretty easy. Remember, all I'm doing is doubling each day. But at the end of six days, when I add everything up together, I only have 63 cents. Versus $100 a day for six days, I'd have $600. So far, it doesn't look that great for doubling. Go another six days forward, and continuing that same pattern adding on, I now have $40.95. So it's looking better. Things are definitely getting bigger now that I'm in the dollars, but it's still way less than the $1,200. I would get for doing a hundred dollars a day but by the days let's see day 18 i'm now at two thousand six hundred twenty one dollars and forty three cents versus eighteen hundred dollars so now i've already gotten to the point where i've gotten to a bigger number just by doubling and now it's going to rapidly grow watch how fast this really starts to grow from here on by the end of the 20 Fourth day, I have $167,772.15 compared to just $2,400. So again, that constant verse is rapidly growing, and that's the power of compounding, that it starts to rapidly grow once time really passes by. And by day 30, math marbles, you have over $10 million, $10,737,000. $418.23 versus 3000 Let's talk more about the power of compounding and compound interest. In the penny riddle, we saw the pennies built up fast. In compounding, that's because money builds on itself. The growth wasn't consistent though. It grew slow in the beginning and then really fast. That's because compounding gets its power from time. The more time goes by, the faster it grows. This is true for compound interest. It builds on itself growing interest on top of interest. This is great if you're making an investment for a long time, not so great if you're taking a loan for a few years. In fact, Albert Einstein once said, compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it, earns it. He who doesn't, pays it. In the last video, we calculated how much simple interest you would earn if you lent your friend $100 at 15%. The interest stays the same each year because you're always finding 15% of $100. With compound interest, you start at 15% of $100 and add the interest to your principal. So the next year, the interest is 15% of $115, not $100. And just like with the penny riddle, the more time passes, the more the interest will grow because you're charging interest on the money borrowed and on the money you've earned. So let's take a closer look. All right, get those calculators ready. We're gonna figure out how to find compound interest. There is a formula for this, and I'm gonna do it in a future video, but I wanna break down the steps so you can see where the compounding really happens. Because remember, that's where power really comes from. It comes from time and getting interest on top of interest. So we'll start with the beginning part. No interest has happened yet, so we're just gonna find 15% of the principal $100, and we get $15. So on your calculator, you just did 100 times 0.15 to get $15. Now this is where you're gonna find interest on top of interest. We're gonna take the $100 and add the 15 to get $115. 
This assumes he hasn't paid you back any money. So this is what he owes right now. Okay, so we're gonna find 15% of this amount, the principal and the interest. And now another 15%, you'll multiply it by 0.15 and you'll get $17.25. So that's how much interest is grown in the second year. Assume he doesn't pay you back any money. So again, we're gonna combine these together. We're gonna compound them and you now have $132.25. We're gonna find 15% again to get $19.84. So you can see all I'm doing each year is I'm just taking whatever he owes and finding 15%. Adding it together, this is what you owe, find another 15%. So I'm gonna keep on compounding. But I want you to just look at this here and notice that originally the $15, look at how much is growing, really slow in the beginning, by just $2, by just $2, but the power in this is over time. So the more time goes by, the more interest is really gonna grow because you're gonna do interest on top of interest. So pretend five years goes by, he hasn't paid you anything yet. Now the loan has grown to $174.90. So we're gonna find 15% of this amount, and you know it's gonna be more than $19. Matter of fact, it's going to be another $26.24 in interest. So see how it started at $15 and now it's starting to grow bigger because more time is going by. Fast forward again, so, so you can see the power of time, another 10 years. And imagine he still hasn't paid you anything back. The loan has now grown to $351.79, way bigger than the original $100. We're gonna find 15% of this number again by multiplying by 0.15, and you're gonna have another $52.77 interest. So look at how much that's grown from the $15 you would get every single year with simple interest to now it's up to $52 after 10 years. Imagine if 20 years goes by. And again, it just gets bigger and bigger with more time the longer it takes for them to pay back any of the money. So. We're gonna zoom out again and just think and remember to do some comparison. You lent them $100. If you stayed with simple interest, he would pay you $15 every year for 10 years, so that's $150. Plus the loan, you would get $250, and this is again, assuming he pays you back in 10 years. With compound interest, you would actually get $404.56 for lending him just $100. So look at how much your money grew. That $100 you lent him has now grown four times bigger to over $400. And that, Mac Marbles, is the power of compound interest over time. You definitely, it accumulates much more than simple interest the further it goes. In future videos, I'll actually show you what the formula looks like for compound interest so you don't have to do it year by year, but it's definitely complex and you will need a calculator for it. And we'll talk a lot about decisions you can make now that you've learned what simple and compound interest actually means so you can make smarter decisions and find out how to grow your money instead of grow your debt. Okay, see you next time, Math Marble. Take care.